Cylinders. A right circular cylinder is formed by two parallel discs with equal radii called the bases and a curved surface called the lateral face or sometimes known as the cylindrical surface. So these two blue parts are the bases of the cylinder. Because they are circles, we can use the formula C equals 2 pi r to find the circumference of each circle. We can also use the formula A equals pi r squared to find the area of each blue circle. The height of the cylinder is marked here in red and it's the straight line going from one base to another. If you cut the cylinder and open it up you end up with a rectangle. The height marked here in red is corresponds to uh, the width of the rectangle and the circumference in green of the circle corresponds to the length of the rectangle. This means that if I try to find the area of the rectangle I am actually finding the area of the lateral surface, the part that wraps around this, the cylinder. This yellow part has the area length times width but that's just 2 pi r times h. So if you're looking for the area of the cylinder, the cylinder's lateral surface, it's the same thing as finding the area of this rectangle which means that the formula for the lateral area of the cylinder is 2 times pi times r times the height. Here's an example of total area of a cylinder. Total area means we're going to include the area of the base, both bases. So here we have the area of one base is pi r squared because we have a circle. The radius is 2, which is half the diameter. And so pi r squared becomes pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi. But because there's two bases, we multiply that by 2, and we get that both bases have an area of 8 times pi. The lateral surface, on the other hand, is the circumference of the base times the height. Circumference is 2 pi r times the height. Since the radius is 2, we do 2 times pi times 2 times the height 10, which gives us a total lateral area of 40 pi. The total area is the lateral area, 40 pi, plus the area of the bases, 8 pi. So altogether, that's 48 pi.